and welcome to Exchange for Media. With me today is one of the most celebrated and renowned creative officer, Mr. Bruno Britelli, Global Chief Creative Officer of Publicis Worldwide Media. Welcome and thanks for doing this for us. So, you know, my first question is, uh, what does it mean to come back to Cannes after three years? Like, uh, being born again. Uh, everybody is nice, uh, so it was a it was a big thing uh, actually coming back. If it's if it's not fully, because obviously a lot of people didn't come, so but it, uh, it makes a, a lot of difference, especially seeing the work uh, live, discussing, debating, uh, getting the words. Uh, so it gives a lot of work. So you've been watching a lot of work for you in the last few days. So uh, do you see any kind of pandemic effect on the work? Sure. Or has it changed? I think there's a big change. Today, the work after the pandemic is much more topical. What does it mean? It means that you need to be on what's happening outside in the street, in life. So, what I'm, and, and I, 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 I will be saying um, very, very clearly that to me, um, focus that work is that design. Water, and actually topical, uh, topical work uh, is what actually is going to pop up and, uh, and be, be <laughs> It doesn't mean not to be in the purpose, but we have to be topical, we have to be relevant, relevant in the moment. So, in advertising, I would say that now the one is more important than the other. So, uh, you know, uh, I feel that, you know, our, our advertising world is becoming very uh, tech and data heavy. How do you keep the creativity alive? It's a good question. It, you know, innovation, technology today is creativity. The only point is uh, being able to maintain uh, the tone of voice of brands uh, when you apply innovation, which is not so easy. You know, but, but when you go innovation, the idea is innovation. So it's difficult to find an angle that actually can be vulnerable for a brand. And the tone of voice, the language, is what makes the difference. Uh, recently, you know, in India, it's been two years since uh, the merger of BBH and Worldwide. How did it help the agency overall? And did you uh, try this experiment in other markets as well? So in India, you had merged BBH and Worldwide, right, two years ago. So how did it, you know, what, what, what was the agency of that? And uh, did you try doing it in the other markets as well? Yes, I have in the other markets. Yeah. I mean, BBH yeah. yeah. has merged in some, of the, in some of the countries uh, and then also to add uh, their uh, creative uh, value. You know, BBH is one of the small but software network uh, and they have a group like uh, this is obviously very new. Uh, but we have uh, different realities depending on market okay. by market. Uh, as uh, you know, we are country model. <laughs> the country model means that you know every agency of the group has to have a different position. That means, like for example, in India as well as uh, in China, you need to have like a more solid uh, consultant agency or the most uh, creative one. It depends on the on the on the market. So you know, uh, before we close this, uh, if I can ask you some of the things, you know, three to five things that you see in a creative agency of future. <laughs> Uh, this is a good question. Um, I think the, the big thing is the merging data and uh, I think that it's a problem. I mean, I look at the creation of the group exactly with this uh, ambition. To have data, the beginning of the process, really to be topical, you know, to talk about the brands, uh, what people are thinking about, uh, to be relevant uh, in other advertising, you know, as a as an impact on uh, people and as an impact on uh, one important. So, if you ask me, the future is this uh, data and creativity uh, together, but it's the beginning. Thank you so much for speaking to us.